Good day guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, as I said yesterday, I'm going to release um, uh, Kerry Bar today. But remember, it's not yet complete. It just, uh, I'm just giving you a taste of what it will look like. Uh, in the coming days, I'm going to finalize it. For instance, on this one, you won't be able, you will only have few uh, bars uh, shape to use. Um, as I promised, I'm going to release the full version and for free. So it's just uh, that um, I haven't finalized, but and then I want you for the meantime to try it and then give me some feedback so that I can improve it and make it more efficient. I will put the link under uh, the download link under the description. And then uh, once you click on the download link, it will take you to this uh, to my Google Drive. And what you need to do, you must download this uh, folder. You download the whole folder. You don't change the name. Don't change the name of the folder. Leave it the way it is. And save this folder under your C drive. Save under your C drive. Uh, for instance, here is my folder on my C drive. This is my C drive. If you click, so you must save this folder on your C drive. Don't rename it. Don't don't put it on any of the folder. Just put, save it on your C drive. If you double click that file, you will see uh, there's a couple of the one folder in of uh, is icon folder and a couple of files and what you need to do now is to copy this archived file you copy this archived file and then you go back to your C drive and click on program file double click on program file then go to Autodesk folder And in Autodesk folder, you must open, you must double click on AutoCAD uh, folder, your AutoCAD version folder, which is, uh, mine is 2018. I also have uh, 2020 installed, but uh, I will use it. It can also work here, but I'm going to use it on uh, 2018. You double click that. Go to, you must locate the support folder. Here's the support folder. And you then paste uh, this uh, archive file in there. Mine is already being uh, saved there. So you must save yours under uh, in the support uh, folder. So follow this procedure and save your archive file. Once you've done so, you go you go back to auto, you open and open AutoCAD. Now, once your AutoCAD is open, open a new drawing. You open a new drawing, go to load application. Go to load application and uh, go to start up uh, suite content. Click to content, add, uh, add file. Mine open straight into my uh, uh, K rebar folder, but you, you must browse it to go to locate your K rebar folder. And once you in there, select the two the K rebar file, select K rebar file, and the my toolbar micro, and click on open. Uh, always load, always load. Here's your two file in here. Basically, this means when you put them in here, it means that whenever you, you start AutoCAD, it will load this folder. So you don't need to uh, every time follow the same procedure. So it's better to put it into this contents uh, startup switch. So when you done that, you close this and you close this. Now, if you are open another a new drawing, our program should come on. This is our toolbar. Our toolbar is ready to be used. And then what you must do, we can now use it to whatever we want. 
um, for now you can use the beam and the slabs and the, uh, the associated footings as I shown on my previous video so let's just do an example here uh, spacing 200 spacing this for on the slab side position uh, and add river so if you are clear calculate uh, yes bar but the scale was too high let's just do it again so now basically it's working uh, the way we want it so this was on the slab side so remember that if you doing the beam you must make sure that the beam page is selected or if a slab you must make sure this page is selected because um, the code uh, the program works that way uh, so if you want to do beam and you are in the footing and slab page it won't work properly and vice versa so you must make sure that you are in both I mean if that you make sure that you're doing uh, you clicking you're on the right page yes so uh, just um, try it and give me some feedback uh, I didn't show there are some few things uh, remember you can change the color you can change the color of the rebars and the labels you can change the color of the rebar and the labels and you can also change the text size the test size the test high for instance uh, if you take uh, 20 I see that will change and then uh, if you put uh, 40 you go back to where it was before and then uh, you can try all these buttons and then I'm waiting for your feedback uh, let me know what you think about this uh, carry bar and then uh, see you on next video